Hello, girls, gals, non-binary pals. We are doing another deck tech. We are in expeditions this time. And I would really appreciate you looking at the deck tech video this time because I put a little bit of extra spice in the video. Uh, what this deck is, is it is finally back the deck that I loved. It is Chalice. So if you haven't seen Chalice, that's another thing you'll need to look at. I'm going to keep this hand. We are actually a three-color deck, and we're pretty greedy for a bunch of different power cards. Uh, what is going on here? Okay. We're pretty greedy for time. This is... But we're, we're pretty greedy for getting time, and that's a little bit dicey, but with Double Wisdom of the Elders, I think we can make it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Stand aside. Ooh, our opponent is on a 150 card Rakano Aggro with a perfect draw. <laughs> they did Mulligan to six to get it, to be fair. The thing is, too, that we also will generally be able to beat aggro decks, I would say. I'm not going to play Seraph yet, because I think I'd rather hold on to Wisdom of the Elders here and draw some extra cards, hopefully find time. It's somewhat likely that they'll just smash us for four again. But if they don't, hey, I've got Wakekeeper just holding the fort. The idea of this deck, I don't want to get too deep into it because this deck has been done in the past and I have the deck tech video, but it's about getting Ch Crystalline Chalice online and then using Crystalline Chalice to get incremental advantage off of every single one of your units and slowly crush your opponent. Oh wow, that is awful. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I guess we'll play two Syrahs, and then pass. Oof, duh. Really hope they don't have a way to target that immediately. We can Wisdom and then hopefully get Desert Marshal online. This is a big yikes. So, fun thing there is, they can't actually get the Renown off at that point. Sure. So I'm, I'm fairly safe blocking. Like they can still have tricks that way. Glory in battle. Stand aside. Wow, this is incredibly consistent for how many cards they're playing. It's kind of incredible. Please, oof, wow, big oofs, big, big, big oofs. What do you do? Alright, we'll take three. We have a lot of stalling potential, even with the problems that we're having for power. Uh, I'm just gonna slam two of them, and then we'll pass. We'll start ultimating them. If I draw any power, then I get Seraph. If I draw time, well, then we're really gold. But we're not in that much trouble anyways. Okay, I mean, I will in fact eat that. Do they have a trick? They do not have a trick. The shadow has come sure. You. Still not what I wanted, but it's something. Granite coin and get the slam. We're just gonna do this. They can trade for one of them unless they have a ability, and I don't think they do. Yeah. This is why we have cards like Borderlands Waykeeper. It's obnoxious. Oh, finally. Finally. Safe travels. I can imagine the emotes our opponent is throwing at us, considering the beginning of this game. And we're just going to pass and hold up the Desert Marshal. I don't see a way for them to get out of this, really. Thank you. Sure, I'll silence that. So now we play Chalice, use it on the Waykeeper. We've got a million chump blocks, so it doesn't really matter as long as that doesn't overwhelm. Like, we can throw away units because we're just drawing so many extra cards. Not a problem for us. Not really. Okay. I was going to say, I've got to imagine they put it here because it doesn't make sense anywhere else. Avagraph, sure. I'm guessing that's on Seraph. On Desert Marshal. What? I mean, seems wrong, but I'll take it. Huh. Let's 
smack our opponent in the face. We're gonna use that. And we've got one of our other real good ones, which is Time Lumen Defender. Is We're back up to 20. The 8-6 just dies now. We can block the 2-2 two, two, slash 4-4 four, four forever. And we're like four cards up on our opponent. Seems pretty good. Ah, the second Abagraft. That's gotta go for Seraph. Okay. That does not have to go for Seraph. Our opponent is... Not caring of anything, I guess. I'll just eat that. I can honestly just take A. It's not a problem. Not with far, how far ahead we are, and with Combray Healer and stuff coming down. Use Chalice. I only play to win. Ooh, Stone Shell Walker. Alright, that's a pretty good one. Uh, we're gonna have to discard a few cards here, but that's okay. We've got chump blocks for days. We've got everything we need. I could have thrown away the crystalline chalice because I probably don't need more than one. Finest weapons Ooh, in smuggler. They might actually have another removal spell. That being said, I still have double chump blocks. And we have a lot of other things to use afterwards. They're drawing really well. Really, really, really well. And what do we get? That dies. I wonder if they're running Harsh Rule themselves? Maybe they have Vanquish? I don't know. Didn't do anything. I only play to win. Ooh. So we could starve Vorlunk and make it a 12-12 double damage overwhelm unit. Or I could just Avagraft away their merchants so they never have it again. Either one of those seems pretty good. I could do one. I mean, do I even really need it? Nah, I don't even really need it. You have Avagraft? I have Avagraft too, friend. I'm gonna leave back the Borderlands Waykeepers because they can just block any charge units. And now we just throw away Chalice and a few extras. Surprised our opponent's still playing this. This game is very over. Sure. Follow my lead. I mean, that's cool and all. It doesn't do anything, but it's cool. Charge. Charge. They're still just dead on board is the thing. I was thinking they might have something like that, but it just doesn't do anything. So there's no big deal. Sure, might as well see what else we get. And the win! We'll give them an emote back too, for once. Alright, on to round two! Round two, and we have a much nicer hand. This one looks really good. I'm gonna keep this. We can use Amber Acolyte to go for justice, that we have Harsh Rule set up. Got Borderlands Waykeeper to stop early aggression and permafrost. A second permafrost. Yeah, this is great. It's a little bit slow. I'd have liked a sigil here, but I'm not gonna be too upset about it. Oh, sigil to devotion. Okay, so they're just mono red. They're gonna go straight face and not care about anything else. So we're gonna need to use this harsh rule. ASAP. Um Do I want a permafrost? A 1-1? One -one? I don't think I do. If I do Seed of Order, then I can play Borderlands into Elysian Banner and play Permafrost next turn, and that seems like the best way to do that. I can't imagine that anything else is better. It looked like they paused and had Torch. Maybe Char? I have seen some decks running Char, so that's definitely possible. And yeah, there's a pause there almost for sure after that attack. I don't think they were sitting there thinking about it a lot. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. Alright, Borderlands Waykeeper, Banner, nah. You don't need a 3-2. And Borderlands Waykeeper having Aegis is really nice here because now they have to use two removal spells to deal with it. And I'm gonna go Amber Acolyte, get a Justice, and start going off. I might even just be able to Lumen Defender. 
now that we drew that. Yep, there's the char, and now the torch. Oh, and wow, they have to use triple removal to do it? Huh, I'm surprised they wouldn't have... I'm surprised they wouldn't have attacked and then done that. Ah, they have granite coin. Okay, that makes sense. So this is a little bit better for them. If I'd blocked, that would have been better for us. Safe travels, Still, I think we're more than okay here. They just don't have enough oomph. I mean, we're at 19. We go back to full life almost immediately with Lumen Defender. Like, we're very, very close. Do I want to permafrost anything? I feel like no. Like, it doesn't really seem like we need to go for a permafrost here. It's just on one ones. We can't do it on the shifted unit, which Flame is obnoxious. On. Oh, they pyramage before getting Onslaught. Huh. That's not a bad. That seems like a really bad light. <laughs> Sorry, you got Kitty uh, trying to get my attention here. Time user. Lumen Defender should stop a lot of what's going on. And they have to keep attacking. So, bye bye We will need to find a chalice eventually. Ah, this time they actually used the Onslaught. That's a lot worse for us. Do they find removal? Ooh, Eclipse Dragon. Safe Unfortunately, travels. that gets chucked, and I don't think they wanted to chuck that. And now we just pass. We're in great position. I don't want to add a lot more to the board because I feel like we might Brace harsh rule. Just wait. Hmm. Could Waykeeper and use it. Not worry about the harsh rule yet. Or I could just pass. Honestly, I'm fine just passing. We have the Desert Marshal for anything really bad. Sure. I mean, here we just take five, kill that, and then harsh rule. And if we get another power card, then we get the Borderlands Waykeeper as well. It didn't, but that's fine. This is kind of showing that you don't have to have Chalice for the deck to be good. Because we're really stopping everything they're doing. Nice top deck, though. That was a pretty gross one. That being said, we shouldn't be in too much trouble here. Play the Waykeeper, and we'll just pass. They don't have a good attack, and even if they think they have a good attack, they don't have a good attack. Sure, that does nothing. Ooh, another Lumen Defender. Mm. I want to start cracking in here eventually, Time but I think I just play the Defender. It's just so good for our power right now. If we get one more, then we might go for Great Parliament. Two Owls is probably enough. Ah, there's the draw. And this is why we have Wisdom of the Elders and not just Chalice. I want to try and find Chalice. Ooh, they did draw a trick. More gas. There's our great parliament if we want it. I feel like... Hmm. I really want to leave up Desert Marshal. I like the ability to just insta-stop something. It might seem really weird. Just in that, like... You're looking at this and it's like, Oh, I got all these cards to play. Why aren't you playing them? But this is a very true control deck. We want to ration out what we're doing here. Just stay careful, stay safe. If they don't, if we don't give them an opening, they won't have one, is the thing. Letting them have a chance to, like, somehow give this overwhelm and get through is bad, so we just leave up Desert Marshal forever. We don't need it on the board to kill them. So we'll just wait. Same here again. I could silence the 3-4. I mean, that really matters. I can take three. I mean, 16 life is a lot of life. Seraph Grand Strategist. It's not bad. We'll attack with both of those. And at this point, knowing that they have the Dervish, I think I need to silence it. We don't want them exhausting any of our stuff. Which means that we can now start getting more things down on the board and protecting what we have. Uh, just gonna make another one of these. 
And then we'll see Rat. Would you like to play a game? I could permafrost, but there's nothing to permafrost. I actually want this to stay reckless, because we're just gonna eat it. The 1-5 just gets it. I mean, do they have rally or something? If they do, they quote unquote get us, and they're gonna kill two units, but that doesn't really matter here. Like, we're getting two for ones out of this, and five life. That's so good. For sure. Like, we've gotten so much value off of them, it doesn't really matter. That minor inconvenience that they just gave us is nothing. I'm gonna do this. I could use Seraph, or I could use the Waystone and Combre. I'm gonna go Seraph. Normally I like Seraph for later, when we actually have Chalice out, because Seraph Chalice is insane. But eh, I'm fine twisting it here. We don't have a Chalice, and I think this game's over very quickly anyways. I can't see a way our opponent gets out of this with us at 22 life. <laughs> it seems unlikely. Alright, and they paused for a moment and then just gave us the desperation attack, which is, I mean, yeah, they're obviously dead. We have many, many ways with which to kill them. I wonder what CRF would have gotten. The game's already over, I don't need to do this, I'm just curious. Alright, and slam! Woo! It's back! Didn't even need a chalice. Round three, not looking great, but we're gonna throw it back and see what we do. Nice, okay, this is okay. We can use Shadowlands, Border Scout to pledge, and then we've got a lot of stall tactics here again. And as you've noticed, stalling out has worked pretty well against our opponents so far. See what's happening. I'm sad to throw away Shadowlands, but... Ooh, well, hmm. Ooh, maybe... Maybe... I'm gonna believe. I need to believe, chat. I need to believe. We'll draw another power card. Then we'll get Shadowlands Border Scout down and be very happy. A little bit concerned about Feln. Feln is kind of our natural predator. They actually have ways to fight our value. They just have big old beaters to fight down with us. Um, let's play another one. It felt like they had a Wisdom of the Elders. I should have called that earlier because I was feeling it. And Gorgon Fanatic. So are they... Scream? Doesn't matter because that's a top deck! Woo! <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, if you were Scream, sorry? Not really, but you know. Ooh, that's gross. That is so gross. And we can silence the next thing. If they are Scream, this is good for us. Really good for us. The Champion of coming. I... Oof. Man. Thank you. I have to. I hate it. I want to get Shadowlands down, but there's no way I can let that actually go another turn and possibly have both of the sides activate. That's just insane. Play Seraf. Would you like to play a game? I'll risk it. Suffocate Seraf. No big deal, honestly. I wasn't going to be able to use her for a while. I'm much more concerned about Shadowlands Border Scout living. So now the question is, do I ultimate one of these and start attacking? Or do I get real frisky and hope that Shadowlands Border Scout lives? I'm going to say that it won't, but I'm going to try and go for it anyways. 
Oh, no, don't pause. Let it be another wisdom or something. Let it be something dumb. Something that can't kill it. No! Ah. Uh, uh, I mean, I knew what I was doing. I, I made the mistake. That's my B. I'll ultimate and start smashing in now. We can use Combray Healer to make this large enough to actually block their champion, which is nice. And if they start attacking in, well then we're trading 5 for 5 and we're ahead on life, and we have life gain. Not playing the Great Parliaments yet, because I'd really like to get them for multiples. As long as we have other things to do, I'm going to try and stall on that one. Yeah, multiple removal. Sure. They're still not smacking in with that, huh? I find that a little strange. I'm going to... If they're going to keep on actually using removal on those, I'm going to force them to do it. I'm really surprised the 5-5 didn't get in that turn. That definitely seemed to make sense. What is happening? They're still not getting in. I'll crack in and see what happens. Hmm. Our opponent's just laying down and dying, and I don't know why. I'm going to put it on the Combray Healer so I can maybe block the 5-5 later. Because I can put the other Combray Healer onto it as well. This is weird. Does not make any sense to me. They've got six cards in hand. They weren't racing a 5-5 against the board of 2-2s. Two hmm. I don't know. Still nothing. Close your eyes. Listen. A little bit weird to put so much onto our board when we have harsh rule in hand, but obviously they're not putting a lot on board. I might as well start slamming some things. Sure, Death Strike it. I've got to imagine their hand is just all a removal. But like, why aren't they... Okay, here we go. Now the question is, do I harsh rule this immediately? I think the answer might be yes, or not. The answer is no. I was going to... It's too bad that I chump block then, because I could have cracked back for six. But I didn't know that I was going to top deck that. Now I want to start getting owls down too, because we are getting to the point where they're very, very close to dead. The found show no mercy. Oof, duh. Alright. That's a lot of good draws. Triple champion is a heck of a thing. Time Lumen Defender, and I guess for now we'll pass. They don't get any advantage from the champion yet. At least, like, incremental advantage, I mean. Obviously, Aegis is kind of nasty. Oh, well. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm okay with that hitting us. We have a lot of life. I can play with it. And I'm definitely attacking. I don't mind at all getting in here and trading. And sending them low is really good for us. Safe travels, friend. We've got our life gain. I'm so close on this great parliament, but I think we have to wait. They do get another champion, which is terrifying. But it's almost another reason for me to do this. The found show no mercy. I mean, our plan is going to be to go wide here. Slam in. Eventually, they can't afford to be too aggressive, or it's going to hurt them. I might want to permafrost the 5-5 on the ground now. Because actually killing the ones in the air is going to be tough because of all the Aegis. They have three blockers. If we play Great Parliament now, Permafrost the one on the ground, attack with everything. They're not even close to dead. They're at three. Okay. 
think we wait. Opponent slamming in with a little bit extra oomph. And I'm okay with that. It does put us in a precarious position. Sure. Ugh. Can't draw that last power. Another permafrost would have also been very, very good. The shadow has come. They did put it in a position where we are in fact dead on the backswing if we didn't have the blocker. Seems like they have another trick. Very hard to beat a hand that's triple champion of cunning. That is ridiculous. Sure. I know this might seem very wild, but I think that my only out is to not do that. So, crack in. God, I wish that we had drawn a power somewhere in here. Permafrost it. Play the parliament. I have the chump blockers. Problem is, of course, if they have any removal, and we might still just not be able to win. Because I don't know how we can crack back for enough. It's close. Chalice is just way too late here. It's close to good enough, but not quite. Like, it would have been good enough earlier. Oh, man. I really wish we'd drawn one more power. If we had that other owl, I think we could have gotten there. It sucks. Really, really close game, and it's super hard to beat a deck that's got that consistent of a draw. Triple champion of cunning is so insane. That is unbelievable luck. So, I mean, that, that's a game that we're just kind of predestined to lose. We needed to draw another power card or any of our Amber Acolytes, maybe a Chalice. Like, we had a lot of different outs to get there. Or we just needed them to not have triple champion. I could have very easily beaten even two of them. But with the Dark Turn and the, and the copy and three of them already, like, five of them was too much. I think that we beat four, which is funny. As insane as that sounds, I think that we're pretty uh, likely to beat four in that game, but there's no way we can beat five. Five is unreal. Okay, round four. Unfortunately, not a really good hand after that last game either. Oof. Hopefully we don't spiral out of control here with after that uh, insane draw from last one. All right, let's go. This one's dicey. We need another primal. But besides that, it's got some ways to stall, which is nice. Seraph is okay. If we draw Primal, we're in great shape. Justice wouldn't be bad either for Harsh Rule. We've got a lot of options. Would you like to sure, play Grand Strategist is like, like a scary a card, quote-unquote, but we've got a lot of ways to deal with it, and we've got the Harsh Rule too, so not a big deal for us, honestly, as long as we actually draw our power. Fresh from the, battle, the problem is the drawing our power part. It shouldn't be that hard. We have the four Amber Acolytes too, but you never know. This hand was a little dicey, but wasn't worth throwing away. That sucks. <laughs> That's really bad. Ooh, definitely the worst card in our deck to draw. That's the second last one that we have, because we only have five time. So that's unfortunate. That, however, is a little bit better. Because now we can do some chump blocks and harsh rule here in a minute. Kind of hope they don't use the twist too much and they just play more onto the board. Remove the, impurities. the big thing here is that I don't think we even chump block, which is weird. But probably correct, because I don't actually want... Hmm. I can't really take enough... I can't take this much damage, though. Alright, I'll do it. Problem is that I'm really telegraphing the harsh rule, and I, I guess that I just have to do it now. I'd have liked to have waited one more turn. 
but this is alright. We have four cards to their five. We desperately need a primal. But if we can get there, we're in good shape. Just need to find one primal and we're okay. Secret weapon. That is certainly a card. Close your eyes. Listen. We can keep it locked down for a while, maybe. They might have Nikos. I wonder if they are doing that. Close if you don't know, eyes. Nikos is the card Listen. that will be able to pull all units that are shifted back out. So it's certainly possible. Scrap? Huh. Scrap again. Would you like to play a game? We can just block the one of the one ones and then just take one forever. Okay. Sure. We'll just take two forever then. We don't need to actually block the scrap, the, not the scrappies, the grenadines. Scrap tank I will block. Fresh from the wow. battlefield. Yikes. Another merchant scary. I just desperately need that power though. Okay. That's not the worst. It's a little bit dicey because they do have the Aegis on the secret weapon, which I don't love. I will, in fact, take two. No primal. Fast turn. Just where we're at. We're just kind of waiting. I'd like to play this post board wipe if possible. Okay. I don't care about Null Blade really. I mean like killing a unit is the bad part. The other side of it's not a big deal. Sure. Oh man. Oh baby. Hold me. All right. This ends. Take another five. Desperately, 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 desperately need a primal. We have a lot. We have a lot of outs here. We just need to hit one. We can still stall the secret weapon. We've got a lot of life. We just need to get one draw that works out for us. That's not it. It's not the worst, but it's not it, either. Like, that's helpful. It keeps us alive. It's better than drawing a, like, time or a justice, which I have very, very little of left in the deck that doesn't also make primal. Better than drawing, like, another unplayable double primal card. And let's see what our opponent does. Hopefully plays some things onto the board. In the light. Yep. So that's not great for us. You know it'd be cool? If I could play a primal <laughs> and then actually have things to do. Nope, okay. Well, I'll take eight. I don't think we have a choice besides that. Oh wow, okay. We drew power cards. I can play a game. I like that. Playing the game is nice. I might have to take another eight. I don't love it, but we have other removal spells for that too. Harsh Rule is the only removal spell we draw this game. I mean, that's frustrating. A third of the way through our deck, two removal spells out of a lot. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head, but like 3, 3, 2, 4, yeah, so like 12. That's good though. So now we play Chalice, and we'll just pause and wait. They've got to actually start playing things again. They're being very smart playing around Harsh Rule. 
I imagine this is scrap tank. Like, just go for it. It would make sense. Grand strategist. Would you like to play sure. A game? The shadow has come for you. I'm gonna go for the border scouts. Great Parliament. Well, that ain't bad. And we'll play the Waykeeper here. If we can actually hit with that Shadowlands, then the game's kind of over. I get the feeling we won't be able to. Yeah. Still, we're almost at 12 power. We've got almost double our opponent's power because of how many cards we've been drawing. Well, actually, not even that. We're only five up on them. Wow, we've just also flooded on top of everything. I see. Oh! Ah, I see. Third merchant. It's pretty good. That is pretty nasty indeed. Uh, would have been nice earlier against the merchants. Not so good now. Let's use the chalice. Okay, permafrost is fine. Kind of feel like Avagraph that. And then get a 4-5. I could permafrost the 3-3. Three, three. I don't want to go much lower. I think I might actually have to. I don't love it, but I think that we need to just be careful here. Opponent has a lot of cards in hand. Okay, we forced him to play the scrap tank, which is good. And at this point... Swing, rule the board, this ends now. great parliament, hope they don't have a opposing rule, and hope that we start drawing some units, because we are six cards down on them, even, well, we're actually even with them despite, despite drawing six extra cards because of how few power they've drawn compared to us, which is unfortunate, <laughs> just a little bit, okay, that's nice. You know, this could be real bad, because they might just have the hard rule. But if they do, I really don't want that to happen. And I can't respond to the harsh rule. It's a pretty dicey maneuver by us, because if they actually have it, okay, they don't. So we just win. GG. Yeah, they can kill one, gain two, but they're still just dead on board. Whew! That was a sweater of a game. Oh, these are not, <laughs> those last two have not made it easy for me. Whew, but we pulled it out. All right, on to round five. Ooh, round five, and this is a very unfortunate hand. If it had justice, it'd be great. Oh, this is not much better. I'm gonna keep it. If we draw a primal, then we're okay, because we can probably draw out of it. That's the hope, anyways. Partial is a strong incentive to keep it. This is really dicey, though. Really, really dicey. If our opponent's fast, we do have permafrost, but it could be problematic. Because we will still need to draw more power. Okay, it's turn one. <laughs> There we go. All right. They got in there eventually. That's not the absolute worst, because it does give us the time. I'm just going to permafrost that immediately. I just want to protect my life total for a while here. They're obviously going to be a pretty aggressive deck. If we can stall out and get harsh rule, that saves us a lot. And that's all we're looking for right now is stalling and primal, hopefully. Reporting in. Mm, Borderlands Waykeeper does do some stalling. Obviously, I'd, I think I'd still rather get a Wisdom here, but this does a decent job. The Aegis is huge. I'm gonna call this bluff, like, what am I supposed to do? They'll probably use a pump spell, but... Oh, okay. They don't. 
they're just throwing things away, or they're gonna use multiple removal. They might have granite coin and a torch or something. Sure, that's okay for me though. Flame on. Oh. Interesting. For the fire. Hoping they top deck something, and they don't. Good. We could use that as an ultimate, but I think I'd rather just wisdom. There's also a non-zero chance they just blow it up with a torch. Hey, look at that! Hold shot. Let's get some air horns in here. Another granite coin. Pretty nice. Good ways to pick off some blockers. Get a little bit of extra damage in. Don't think it's going to do enough here. I don't know if I want to harsh rule this board. They did pause, so it seems like they just have tricks. We can definitely wait one more turn, especially with Desert Marshal. Desert Marshal is really good. Like, uh-oh, uh defense. Oh shit, defense. Think you can escape me? Sure. I don't know that it matters which one I do it with, but I'll trade there. No tricks. Flame blast. Okay. Uh, maybe it's just flame blasts all the way down now. If it is, that is a problem. Seek the waste. It's a lot of power. I could use a little bit less than 9 versus 4, but okay. We'll accept it. It's, it is indeed Flame Blast all the way down. We have some life gain, though. We can just find it instead of power. <laughs> Would you like to play a game? Ooh, boy. Unless they can actually burn us out, though. Draw, mister. We have really good defense here. In. Yeah, there we go. All right, they're just giving up on that one. That's fair. I mean, we'd have still kind of been in trouble unless we drew something, but a little bit of an anticlimactic end. However, I think that our opponent saw the writing on the wall. Seraph, without being answered, was going to get us a lot of blockers. And if they don't have enough burn to kill us from eight, then they're going to be in way too much of a hole to actually come back that game. Close, though. They made me sweat with double flame blast. Pretty disgusting. In any case, what a deck. Chalice's back, friends. Expedition is a lot of fun. I was super hyped to play it right away. I talked about uh, changing some of the cards out in the deck tech, so I'm going to recommend you go and check that out again, because I think there are some things that you could possibly move around here and there, but I will show the full list right now. And a big shout out to all my subs and patrons who helped make this uh, job for me. I really, really do appreciate it. And of course, to my wonderful sponsor, InkGaming.com. You guys are absolutely fantastic. They do really, really cool custom gaming gear like mouse pads and playmats for things like magic or board games. And now they have hoodies even, like our wonderful hoodie that we have up in the store and other t-shirts and stuff like that too. So just tons and tons of cool gaming gear and they're just a really awesome company. I highly recommend them. We have a promo code down below. So if you buy anything, make sure that you use that promo code. And I will be back next week. Send me in some expedition lists. What are you facing against? Put it down below. I'd love to see them. I'm really interested in a new format and super excited. I've been doing a lot of Dota Underlords as well, so you might see some more videos of those from me. And I'm going to try and do some more skits and stuff too before the YouTube stuff. Uh, you might notice that if you go and check out the deck deck. Alright, see you next week, gunslingers!